Hi guys, welcome back to the Anime Multi Universe. My name is Biggie, back with another reaction video. Today, back at my man, the Jaegerist, he's got a video I saw here titled, How Strong Will the Straw Hats Be at the End of the Series? Now, that's a good question. Looking at Luffy, he's got Gear 5. Um, apparently, in Egghead, he's just getting better and better at it, right? But I don't think there's another level that Luffy can reach. Probably, maybe some increments in terms of his Conqueror's Haki. Similar to Zoro. Zoro, um, if I think about it, in terms of his swordsmanship, perhaps the the swords that he has, right, could potentially, um, what do they call them? When they advance to like the next level, they become black blades, right? Uh, Sanji is probably the hardest because Sanji, bro, it's like his powers are kind of weird. You know, even in Wano, they said he got stronger, um, he's faster, but it's really hard to power scale him, especially because it's not well communicated that he's got like Conqueror's Haki. So yeah, I can't wait to actually see what uh, my man comes up with. But without any further ado, let's get into the reaction. He's definitely overdue for a power up. And the one that I'd really like to see him get is armament hockey now don't get me wrong chopper is already pretty chopper. strong she proved by doing surprisingly well against queen during the raid but if he just learned yeah. hockey it would increase chopper's okay bro attacks at least a few times then there's his devil fruit i guess you could say that monster point is already chopper's awake in form which he has to force out using his special yellow pills however mm -hmm. by the end of the series i expect chopper to completely mm -hmm. master this form to the point that he can use it for much longer periods of time without imagine chopper awakens bro imagine but i i think for that level you need like conqueror's i can chop is not the type so i guess monster yeah, point will but do at the end of the day let's not forget that Chopper is the doctor of the crew so the sad reality is that he may not actually get any decent power-ups until the end of the story also i doubt oda will stop with the joke about him being only the pet of the crew so his bounty will be nowhere close to the other straw hats chopper's first bounty was 50 berries the second one was 100 berries and the one right now is 1000 berries going by this chopper's last bounty will most likely only be 5000 berries <laughs> Come on, don't do chopper like that. Some of their powers and bounties will be absolutely crazy. Nami, the cat burglar. Nami has always been considered a part of the weakling trio of the Straw Hats, but ever since she got Zeus, she has become a real baller. However, despite her newly acquired powers, there's still a few ways she could get even stronger. First of all, she could eat a devil fruit, but this doesn't really seem likely as her climax already grants her devil fruit like abilities. Armament or Conqueror's hockey are also a big no for her, but I guess she could benefit from observation hockey a bit, as it may allow her to throw attacks from a much greater distance. Similar to how Usopp managed to hit that subscribe button. Usopp! Or something like that. Usopp is anyway, getting conquerors. Her climb attack gets upgraded on air, which is a real possibility considering Vegapunk's skills and knowledge. I don't know if you ever noticed, but Nami's bounties have always had the number 6 in them. Her first bounty was 16 million berries, the second one was 66 million berries, and the current one is 366 million. Dog, who notices that? that? Ain't no way I was gonna notice that. Low as possible, I don't think she'll ever reach that 1 billion mark, so we can expect her final bounty to most likely be around 616 million berries. Brooke. Solid. Brooke doesn't know hockey right now, so there's definitely a possibility that he'll learn it in the future. Since Brooke is a supporting character, if he does learn hockey eventually, it'll most likely be observation hockey so he can better support his crewmates in battle. However, the most interesting power-up Brooke could get is the awakening of his devil fruit. The Yomi Yomi no Mi is definitely one of the most unique fruits out there, as it can literally bring users back to life. It also has other cool abilities, like allowing Brooke to separate his soul from his body and essentially become yeah, a ghost. Yeah, so what quite kind versatile. Of would awakening of this fruit grant to Brooke? Well, although this is purely speculation, based on other awakenings we've seen in the series so far, Brooke may be able to project his abilities on the world around him. For example, he may be able to separate other people's souls and bodies, or maybe even yeah, the souls of other yeah, people in yeah, order dope. to temporarily gain their abilities. All of this sounds really cool, and if Brooke ever held a concert again, he could literally give his audience an out-of-the-body experience. If you look at Brooke's previous bounties, you'll see that Oda, the creator of One Piece, loves to pair Brooke with the numbers 3 and 8. His first bounty was 33 million berries, his second was 83 million, and his current one is 383 million. Based on this, hmm. Brooke's fourth and final bounty will most likely be 838 million berries. Although this is a pretty impressive number for Brooke, it's nothing compared to some of the bounties we'll talk about later. Iron Man Frankie. Frankie is already pretty strong, no doubt about it, which he proved in Wano when he single-handedly defeated Sasaki of the Toby Ropo. But the real question is, how strong can he get? Frankie is another crewmate who doesn't know hockey, and due to him yeah, he ain't getting it. Before strength fights, and technology hockey would be really fitting for him. Also, just imagine a cyborg coated in matte black. It would look so badass. Although Frankie didn't get any real power up in Wano, the crew is currently on Egghead Island, and there's no way Frankie is getting out of there without an absurd power up. Who knows? Oda may even ditch his bulky design and give him something entirely new. Whatever the case may be, Frankie is one of the characters who literally has. Yeah, I actually agree. Like the uh, making Frankie get bigger and better is low key getting ridiculous, bro. This is not the world of kaiju, okay? But anyway, anyway I'm just saying. Um, he would benefit from like a leaner, slicker design. 
you know, if I think about the original Frankie Dog, like he looked cool with like <laughs> yeah, um, the shirt unbuttoned and like his, his underwear. Um, and then, okay, he got bulkier, but now they're making him even bulkier. Nah, nah, nah. Let's chill. The infinite potential for improvement, as he can always integrate new, stronger materials with his body and add any new weapons he makes. Once Luffy becomes the Pirate King and the story ends, I'd expect Frankie to be similar to Queen in terms of strength. His bounty will also get significantly higher than it currently is, and there's a simple reason for that. The ancient weapon, Pluton. During the Water 7 arc, we learn Frankie has a connection to Pluton, as he was once the holder of its blueprints. This is why a lot of fans speculate that he'll be the one who eventually finds, or maybe even creates, Pluton out of Thousand Sunny. If this happens, his bounty will skyrocket, probably to 1 billion 394 million berries. If you're wondering why I chose this, specific number for Frankie, I'll explain it a bit more when we get to Usopp's bounty. God Usopp. If more than a thousand One Piece episodes or anything to go by, Usopp most likely isn't going to get any power up in the traditional sense, and he's going to stay about as strong as he is right now. I mean, that's kind of the point of his character. The moment he yeah, true. Actually strong, Usopp is us, bro. Accomplished. And that's why Oda has made sure to keep him the same old coward no matter what he accomplishes in the story. However, there's one interesting potential power up Usopp could unlock. The Conqueror. Us. Okay, I know this Fed. sounds ridiculous, but there are some things hinting towards it. You all know how most of Usopp's lies eventually come true in the end, and one of his most recent lines during the Wano arc was having Conqueror's hockey. This is why a lot of fans think that it's a real possibility he'll unlock it in the upcoming arcs. Other than that, another one of his lies is that he'll lead an army of 8,000 soldiers. We know that Usopp has a strong connection to all the giants he met throughout the story, so could it be that when he finally gets to the giant's island Elbath, he'll somehow become their leader? This would be really cool to see, and would make the great warrior Usopp feared around the world. Now we know that Usopp's bounties often rhyme with Luffy's. Each of their starting bounties was 30 million berries, and Usopp's current bounty is 500 million, which was Luffy's bounty after Dressrosa. Judging by this, it's most likely Usopp's final bounty will be exactly 1.5 billion berries. Same as mm, Luffy's previous true. bounty. Let's go back to Frankie's bounty for a bit. And wouldn't it be interesting if like Usopp actually got like um if he actually changed in terms of character? You know, like stop being a coward and like do like a revamp. But I guess it would be like too much of a change for fans. They'd be like, hell now, this is not the Usopp we know. But I'm just saying the characters are supposed to change. Especially if we get to like an uh, an island like Elbeth. It, I think it would be the right time to do it. As I still owe you an explanation for that one. I said his bounty is going to be exactly 1,394,000,000 berries. And that's because Frankie's past two bounties have been exactly 106 million lower than Usopp's. Since we estimated that Usopp's final bounty will be 1.5 billion, it's only logical that Frankie gets this odd number. There are still five more straw hats left to cover, and the next one is Nico Robin, the devil child. Robin's Nico. fight against Black Maria and Wano was pretty much her first proper fight yeah. in Skypiea. I think Robin could awaken a devil However, fruit. during this recent fight, Robin did get one huge power up, Demonio Fleur, which allows her to spawn a giant copy of her upper body with giant wings resembling a devil. Now the question is, can this new form be considered a devil fruit awakening? Hanahana no Mi is a really unique devil fruit, as it already allows Robin to affect her surroundings by spawning as many of her body parts as she wants. This is usually something only the users of awakened devil fruits can do, which is why I think Robin's devil fruit is already kind of awakened and she won't be getting any new devil fruit related power ups. However, when it comes to hockey, she definitely has a lot of room for improvement, and I think she'll definitely master it in the coming arcs. Imagine her throwing thousands of armament hockey slaps. It would suit her fighting yeah, style so okay. well. So Makes what about sense. her bounty? Unfortunately, there isn't any numerical pattern we can follow when it comes to Robin, as her bounties are all over the place. But considering how important she is due to her ability to read poneglyphs, her affiliation with the Revolutionary Army, as well as the fact that she'll undoubtedly reach Laughdale at some point, I'd say around 1,950,000,000 berries seems about right for her. Solid. Jinbei, the Knight of the Sea. Big Jinbei! Is a Jinbei. He doesn't need a power-up. What do you mean? I love Jinbei, bro. showcase his abilities. The only serious fight he had in the story was against yes, yes, I love this guy. I need to see more Jinbei in One Piece, though. He aces his rival in terms of strength, meaning that right now he should be much stronger than him. But if I had to choose one power up Jinbei is going to unlock towards the end of the series, I'd say with a lot of certainty. Is it Conqueror's? Conqueror's hockey is all about willpower, and Jinbei mm. definitely showcased a lot of it during his epic scene with Big Mom, showing he I'm actually surprised. the slightest. I'm actually surprised Jinbei hasn't actually shown Conqueror's. That's weird, bro, because this dude is like a true... Imagine going to Big Mom and telling her to go kick rocks. <laughs> Imagine. Another possible power-up for Jinbei would be a Devil Fruit, but considering how pretty much no fishmen have Devil Fruit powers, this is highly unlikely. When it comes to bounties, Jinbei currently has the third highest in the crew, right between Zoro and Sanji. However, if it helps Sanji fans feel any better, Jinbei's he will. bounty probably won't have that much of an increase, mm. putting him around 2.2 billion berries. Mm. Black Lake Sanji. During but how did you arrive at... Um... 
Jimbe's bounty. But I agree with you, Sanji's definitely going to overtake Jimbe. Proved to be above Emperor Commander tier. He's probably comparable to someone like Marco in terms of strength, but considering he's one of the main fighters of the Straw Hats, it's obvious that he'll get even stronger. The Ifrit Jumbe he used in Wano after awakening his genetic enhancements may not be the power we were all expecting, but it definitely is a cool one. Queen, was literally. Queen, queen. Until the end of the series, Sanji will get a better understanding of his Jerma genes and use them to create an even hotter version of the Diable Jumbe. Since Sanji is a prince of the Jerma kingdom, it's possible that at some point in the future he'll be able to command all of Jerma's special forces. Just that would like make sense. Final war against the world government and will earn Sanji a monstrous final bounty of 3.3 billion berries. Before we cover the man himself, Monkey D. Luffy, and his ridiculous end of the story bound Rono Zoro. His right -hand man. Rono Zoro. That's my G right there. Zoro's future power -ups this is my favorite character in One Piece, though. If he ever plans on surpassing Fuck. Mihawk, he'll need to figure out how to turn his swords into black blades. If I yes. Had, I'd say the first sword he'll turn black will be Wadoichi Monji, simply because that's oh, so good, what I'm with as it was previously wielded by his childhood friend. And Kavina. Other than turning his swords black, he'll also. Hey, then I messed up in the beginning. What's that sword that Zoro has in the. The first one he gets in Wano before before he gets in. Blade and added to his arsenal. I mean, Roger had one. Whitebeard also had one. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mihawk's sword Yoru is also a supreme grade. I can't wait for this throw up though. But which one will he get? Well, other than the supreme grade blades I just mentioned, the only known one is Shodai Kitatsu. We have no idea where this blade currently is. Maybe that bald guy from the Five Elders has it? Whatever the case, it's surely the most befitting sword for Zoro, considering he already has one blade from the Kitatsu series. Other than the sword-related power-ups, Zoro may also learn advanced observation hockey at some point, as that's the only hockey type he still hasn't unlocked, since Zoro is expected to become the world's strongest. Yeah, player, and, and Zoro's ridiculous, bro. It's, it's crazy, right, when you think about how much Zoro actually trains and works out but like he's always focused on like brute strength so you need to start trading intellectually and it's funny bro um the straw heads i know they're constantly going on adventure to adventure but you actually never see them training together that's kind of crazy right like i believe that these guys could probably learn something from each other especially luffy luffy is hogging all of this knowledge about power and stuff and he ain't sharing with the gang come on luffy we message you, but sure. Mihawks, putting him at around 3.6 billion berries. Straw Hat Luffy. To be completely honest, it's hard to see the yeah, true. major power up. He's already awakened the mythical Zoan fruit and has yep. advanced mastery of all three forms of yep. He's Agreed. also defeated Kaido, who is considered the strongest creature in the world in a one on one battle. I mean, seriously, what else can Luffy possibly do to get any stronger than this? Mm, the only thing I can think of is that he needs to get a gear five. five, which would allow mm. him to waste less energy and stay transformed for longer. A mm. lot of people still believe Luffy will eventually unlock gear six, but that just makes no, no sense. Come on, guys. Gear five is his peak. By the end of the story, Luffy will become king of the pirates and the strongest character in one piece even stronger than roger he's surely going to defeat both akainu and blackbeard and if he gets a matchup against inu he'll defeat them as well in the end luffy will be in a league of his own as for his bounty it's going to be exactly 5 billion 656 million berries how this would make his bounty slightly higher than roger's which would make sense and it'll also work really well with the name of his devil fruit gomu means five and six after all click on this video where we rank the 15 strongest swordsmen in one piece did you ever hey, hey. How okay no solid solid video but yeah dog it would be interesting um to see i'm not a manga reader so you know at the end of one piece the spoilers are going to be ridiculous on the on the internet but yeah that's it for the reaction video if you enjoyed it please leave a like for the video let me know which video i should react to next um subscribe to the anime multi universe and until next time i'm out of here